So let's officially get started. In this video, we're going to begin our hard surface sculpting with our turtle character, a space astronaut turtle that we're going to be working on. So to get started, we're going to need to be able to bring in a base mesh of a turtle, and then we're going to be doing some additional base mesh hard surface pieces that we're going to be sculpting that will go onto the arm of the base mesh to get started with or that will go onto the arm of the turtle, I should say, that we'll start off with. It's going to make a little bit more sense once you see it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the comma key, and I'm going to bring in an import. And you want to look to the right for that resources folder for Lesson 1, Turtle Base OBJ. So don't forget to download that. And I'll just left-click and drag, and I'm going to hit the T key to bring that in. And if you hold left click and hold shift, you can kind of snap that right in front of you. So now that we have this, what we're going to do is use this character here as sort of a template to fit all our secondary base mesh pieces that we carve out with. And that's going to start with using a combination of gizmo deformers, knife curve brushes, and a whole bunch of fun with zero mesher. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now to begin with, I'll change out my Mac cap here to a basic material. And I'm gonna go through Subtool here. And to begin, I'm just gonna bring in a primitive. So go under Subtool, hit Append, go Cube, and we have ourselves a cube. Now from here, I'm just gonna hit the W key, and we can toggle and translate that as you can see. So I'll begin by just trying to get a, a fairly uh, rectangular shape. I might even turn off my uh, the visibility of my turtle just temporarily so I can just kind of focus on this. Now from here, I'm going to want to give it a couple of subdivisions and then delete those subdivisions. Now, the reason for that is, is because knife curve brush is going to be the first thing we work with on here, and it doesn't really function too well with a bunch of subdivisions, so we got to take care of that. So, to begin with, uh, I can go through and uh, just go through and turn off SMT, maybe divide this a few times, three or four times, and then afterwards, we're going to hit delete lower and again this is all under geometry don't forget to turn smt back on usually that just smooths it but i don't really need to do that now the next thing we're going to do is hold shift control and go up here and choose our knife curve brush now this is one of the mo most common features that we're going to be using through the course we're going to be identifying a lot of opportunities to flush out fun pieces through this so to begin with I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit of this. We just hold down shift, control, and left click, and I'm going to drag a straight line, and you can kind of see that poly group there. So let's do the same thing again. I'm going to hold shift, control, and I'm going to drag a left click down, and then I'm going to release shift, control, and then hold the space bar down, and I'm still holding left click down as well, and you can see me pan around this as well if you want to make any adjustments with the curve. But I'm just going to keep it right there. And now I'm going to release spacebar and double tap Option key and go, that will give us a nice angular cut line instead of a smooth Bezier line. And we're just going to release. And as you can see, we got ourselves a pretty clean surface here. Now, at this point, you know, we can have a whole bunch of fun, but first things first, I'm gonna ha just kind of clean up a little bit more. Let me see if I can hold shift control, and this time I'm just gonna kind of pan this around. Just tap left alt or left option once, because we don't need a hard line. We can just have sort of like a Bezier curve, and uh, we can have a little piece just like that. And now I can just sort of make my adjustments on here, you know, anything you want. So if you can get to a shape like this, that's fine. This is a good stopping point to go into Z Remesher. Now we're going to do Z Remesher for a specific reason. And the reason is, is because 
you remember when we divided earlier on? If we tried to divide this, and you can kind of look at uh, some of the little tapers that we get on here when we try to divide, and that's because you can see uh, that uh, when we do when we do do the knife cut brush, it gives us uh, a lot of tie-offs. Now that's a little bit of a pitfall for this clean uh, topology but the real advantage about this is, is when you're using knife cut brush it is a very clean cut unlike trim curve which just has a very malfunctioning algorithm or clip curve which does a lot of non-manifold mashing of geometry in there that causes errors for us you know this creates a very clean edge flow topology of polygroups that Z remesher can actually work with to compute and remesh a cleaner edge flow for this whole piece. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remesh this and we're going to give you a good start off preset for Z remesher. Now again this is a good, uh, what you want to start off with but you don't want to over rely on it and so you might need to do some tweaking and uh, if you still get issues you can go through poly uh, target poly count and do different iterations and so forth but uh, we're going to do keep groups and we're going to do uh, to adaptive size to zero and smooth group zero now if we do it like that and we do a little bit of a zero measure this will be sort of the result sort of a clean little result but you kind of see it kind of tore into here and that's because this is one polygroup so it didn't give it we didn't give any information here for these two to be separate polygroups so let's let's turn these into two different polygroups so zero mesher can once again have an easier time so again let's just go through polygroups and start with just something simple group by normal and you can kind of see already we're getting something nice and clean now let's go through geometry and let's go through Z remesher again and as you can see we get something that's a little bit cleaner because now that uh, line just gave us a nice clean uh, little spot now if you see a little waviness right here just go ahead and hit Z remesher one more time and it will uh, just kind of give you something that's clean and that's what I always like to do I like to hit Z remesher a couple of times uh, to get something like that so we're halfway through this base mesh. Let's go ahead and just finish this off with some deformers. Again, this is how we find in iterations of our shape and have a little bit of fun here. So to begin with, I'm going to hit the W key. And to access deformers, you're going to want to go up to this cog here. And our first deformer we're going to work with is that bend arc deformer. And again, with the bend arc deformer, the most common, you see all these cones here? Well, the most common one is going to be the green cone that you see right here. So kind of keep that in mind uh, as you're going through. Also, if you wit want, you can also uh, make that a little bit uh, thinner and then do a quick little Z remesh. That way, when you do the bend deformer again, it might uh, be a little bit easier and something like that. And now, once you have something like that, just click right back on that cog, hit, hit accept. And then from here, let's work with a second deformer. And for that, we'll work with taper. Now, taper is just a pretty simple one, and there is no green uh, cones for this, but we will be working with these orange cones. So in this case, I'll be working with this cone, and I'm going to work with this cone right here. So go ahead and if you can try to get to this point right here you know this is actually a pretty good stopping spot I may do one more uh, little piece right here one more bend arc and I might just try to do it on this angle that way we have ourselves a good clean base mesh arm to work off of and you know what I might even do I think I might even have a little bit of fun with this so I think I might just go ahead and uh, hold uh, knife cut and uh, just simply kind of go through and make 
my own little piece right there. And if I wanted to, I could even zero mesh that. I'll do it a couple of times to clean it up. So again, that is sort of the uh, basic start off. So what we have here is a good start off base mesh for you to work with. Uh, I want you to just sort of take your time on this one because this is going to be a good foundation for you to uh, uh, prelude into your next video. And we're going to be building off of a whole bunch of applications and practicing these combinations back and forth. And we're going to explore deeper even to our knife curve brush by working with the secondary features that cut slats into any piece of geometry. So that's going to be very fun too. So with that said, stick around and stay tuned.